Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and my channel is about data analysis, data science and tech. So if you're interested in these topics, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And today I'm going to share with you some insights that I've got after visiting more than 15, I guess more than 20 meetups in Seoul. So probably you know currently I live in Seoul for about seven or eight months and currently I work remotely. Uh, my company has flexible time schedule but still I'm trying to work at the same time zone as my main team. So I'm working on European time. Uh, yeah, it's quite tough in South Korea, this time zone. And clearly I didn't have friends here, some acquaintances. So I decided to visit some meetups. Plus it's really interesting to uh, get to know how tech market, tech industry is working here. How is job market is here, yeah, and how it's functioning. So that's why I visited so many meetups. Of course, I've got some key insights that today I want to share with you. By the way, there are some buzzwords in South Korea like AI, blockchain, robots. So if your company or startup is dealing with this word, this is wow. Government can provide even some investments to your startup if you describe the activity of your company with these words. Unfortunately, there are even some cases when startups present themselves with all, using all of these words, but in reality they don't do it. Still, they get investments and do their own business. But still, this is like problems of South Korea. By the way, if you're interested in how is the tech market, some trends are here, uh, let me know. I will do a separate video. Leave the comments. So why attended so many meetups? Obviously, it is the easiest way to get some friends, to know people who are interested in same topics, to get some advice or fresh ideas. Actually, there are several reasons why meetups the great things. First, learning new skills. Many tech meetups provide workshops, seminars, trainings where you can learn new skills and acquire some new knowledges and even get some new projects for your portfolio. Second, finding job opportunities. If you're struggling to get a new job, meetups is the right way for you because Technical meetups are the great place to network with potential employers, learn about job opportunities to get some referrals, even from the people who came to meet up but in working for some companies, or to get some colleagues to collaborate on some pet projects or whatever. Third reason to visit such meetups is to get know more about some particular company, about their technologies. For example, you're applying for, I don't know, Google and you're going to the meetup where you met some Google workers and you can ask them about some insights, about some technologies that you can use in your interview process. Number four reason, community building. Attending tech meetups can help you to feel more connected to tech community in your area. You can find like-minded people who are sharing the same ideas and passion for technology. And of course, you can get help with CV or cover letter or some other projects that you're doing on such meetups because you're meeting so many people with different experience, with different backgrounds. So you definitely can get professional, relevant help for you, like with CV, with cover letter, with pet projects. And the last reason why you should attend such meetups is a great way to express yourself, to share your knowledge, to get some new experience, for example, by offering a workshop, a lecture. So you can attend some meetups and that time offer your help in preparing the next one to offer some lecture. And this is a great way not only to enhance your CV, your LinkedIn or whatever, but this is also a great way for building community, to find new friends or even to get a job. So every weekend and sometimes weekdays, I attended several meetups, met new people, saw new locations, and clearly I made several decisions like insight that I would like to know early, <laughs> but still good that I know it now. So let me share these findings with you. The first and maybe the main insight is that you are not alone. Sometimes we're struggling with some situations, with some problems, 
and we think that only we encounter such stress, such situations and only we are dealing with this. But when you connect it to other people, when you hear their past, their thoughts, their own way, you started to realize that, oh my god, you're not alone. All these situations and problems are totally fine everyone encountered them and you know what like some kind of motivation and the confidence appear because you understand that it's not a problem with you it's totally fine to have some particular path so this is like help you to get back to reality and not to focus and be concentrated that something is wrong with you and something that what is happening with you now is just with you so if you currently think that you are alone, remember that it's not. Insight number two, there are different ways to get same result. You know, sometimes we're thinking that, oh, I don't have a proper background, I don't have a proper skill, I don't have a real world experience to get this or that job. But when you communicate with other people, you hear their stories, you realize you're able to get to the point B by doing totally different things having totally different paths, yeah? So try to think multilaterally. If you don't have something, try to create a new way of getting to point B. Super common story, especially in tech industry, when you know that some guy was working as a seller in the supermarket, for example, and in two years he became like data scientist or he became a a UX UI designer or another person who achieved master's degree in computer science also became data scientist so there is the same uh, position data scientist position but it was achieved by two different people in different ways it's possible to achieve same results by different ways insight number three networking is a key yeah especially in South Korea if you have some friends, if you know some professors, if you know some people from particular company, you're likely to get an interview or job offer. Yeah, that's how it works here. So the same is in the United States and, and in Canada. If you're attending some events and meetups and you are meeting some company there, you get to know each other more, that company can offer you an interview with or you have some other people who can refer you uh, on a particular position in different companies that will help you yeah mm, for introverts this is a quite hard way of getting a job or achieving some goals uh, but yeah nowadays networking is a key so if you have the possibility to expand your network to expand your contacts do it right away communicate visit meetups expand and develop your linkedin by the way this is my insight number number four develop linkedin i don't know like yeah of course i knew that it's super important for looking for a job but after visiting so many meetups you realize that linkedin is more than just looking for a job Everyone is asking, can I connect it to your LinkedIn? Do you have LinkedIn? Let's connect in LinkedIn. And if you have an empty profile there, probably the person will forget you in half an hour. But if you have a fully developed LinkedIn profile, it's like your CV. By the way, I have a video with uh, tips on how to develop your LinkedIn profile. If you haven't seen, here is the link. Uh, watch it. Uh, yeah, so try to develop your LinkedIn and build network there. Even if you can't post there some your research or some findings or some articles, stay there to be in that community. Try to comment some posts, connect to right people, get more and more into this community. Insight number five, you need to know how to prevent yourself. It's a crucial thing. There are some reasons why it's important. The first one is creating a first impression. The way you present yourself can greatly impact how others perceive you. Also, this is a great way to build credibility. When you present yourself great, you can gain trust and respect of others. This is actually important in both professional and personal relationships. And of course, know how to present yourself will improve your communication because good presentation skills can help you to communicate your ideas 
and you saw it effectively. This is especially important in your professional settings when effective communication can lead to better business outcomes. Agree, right? And the last insight, prepare a business card. Even if you are a beginner or currently don't have a job, having a business card can be beneficial for several reasons. Networking business cards are a great tool for networking even if you're just starting out. They allow you to introduce yourself to the people and provide you with a way to contact you in the future. So, for example, you're looking for a job, you are meeting the person from a particular company that you are interested in. They do not have open positions right now, but later in several months they can contact you because you left them business card they know how to contact you and offer you a job because they know that oh i met that guy and he's interested in this position i can contact him of course the reason is also professionalism having a business card shows that you take your professional image seriously of course it's memorability a well-designed business card can help you to stand out and be remembered by potential employers or clients and the last reason why you should have a business card because it's super convenient it's a convenient way to exchange an information with someone you meet and it's quicker and more professional than just writing down some of your contact on the piece of paper with a pen yeah guys so that was my top insights from these meetings and again i want to repeat that meetups are a great way to stay connected to the tech industry to meet new people like-minded people to get some fresh ideas to get some new clients to get some job offers so if you're still not going to meetups change it right away uh, by the way there is a nice site that i also used it meetups.com this website is working in every country so just type there the topic of the meetup that you're interested in and choose your city and you'll see the options that are available in your city yeah and i hope this video was interesting for you let me know which insight was the most useful or the most interesting and if you agree with them and i will see you soon in my next video don't forget to subscribe